LeBron James is in the news again. That's nothing new. But what is new is the context in which King James is in the news because this is betrayal at the utmost. Former Cleveland Cavalier general manager David Griffin, this was the general manager in Cleveland as LeBron led the Cavs back down from a 3-1 deficit to the Golden State Warriors. This is the guy who put that team together, acquiring LeBron and Kevin Love via trade for Andrew Wiggins. David Griffin recently did an interview with SI. By the way, he is the new general manager of the New Orleans Pelicans and the executive vice president of the Pelicans. He did an interview where he was as honest as he wanted to be and open about being the general manager in Cleveland for LeBron James. Brace yourself for some of these comments, ladies and gentlemen. David Griffin said, everything we did was so inorganic and unsustainable and frankly, not fun. When I was the general manager of LeBron James in Cleveland, I was miserable. Literally the moment we won the championship, I knew I was going to leave. There was no way I was going to stay for any amount of money. David Griffin went on to say being the general manager of a team that has LeBron James on it made him question his love for the game. He said he didn't even love it anymore. He also questioned LeBron's will and desire to win. He said he doesn't think he's the same animal he used to be about winning. He's speaking on LeBron James. And he even said LeBron gets all the credit and none of the blame. And that's not fun for people. People don't like being a part of that. I want to bring this to your attention. Just a week ago, LeBron James gave some free promotion to David Griffin's wife on Twitter. LeBron has over 40 something million social media followers. He promoted her new wine business. LeBron cryptically went to social media as he always does, very passive aggressive, did not mention David Griffin's name, but moments after David Griffin's SI article was released, LeBron said, all right, all right, enough is enough. The throne has been played with too much and I ain't for horseplay. Ether is coming soon, hashtag the James game. I'm gonna get called a LeBron apologist and I'm fine with that, but I'm gonna be honest with you. This is one of the most two-faced things I've ever seen in my entire life. First and foremost, David Griffin's entire career is based off winning one championship that LeBron James delivered. And I'm tired of all this conversation about people saying, yo, when we got LeBron, there's too much pressure for us to win championships to make it to the finals. It should be like that for everyone on every team. You're mad because LeBron James wants to win at extreme proportions? So you're you're mad because he puts pressure on you to do your job at an elite level? What? You're mad because a LeBron James led team has a championship or bust expectation pretty much every season and that made you question your love for the game? If being put in a winning predicament makes you question your love for the game, newsflash, David Griffin, you never loved the game. And I do need to state the elephant in the room in regards to LeBron James. LeBron is growing a very dangerous brand. And he's been doing it for quite some time. You see, LeBron is as popular as Michael Jordan and Kobe Bryant, if not more popular than MJ or Kobe at this point in his career. But what arguably made Kobe and Mike so legendary, even to this point, they're almost ghost, is that they're not accessible. You can't get Kobe Bryant to tweet out when something happens. You ain't getting that from Michael Jordan. They don't do interviews like that. They're not accessible. Even when they were players, they did their mandatory press conferences they did their interviews post game, but they're not accessible for casual conversation. They're not on Instagram, on Insta story, 
on Facebook Live, there was this certain level of superstardom about Kobe or Mike that I believed helped them deal with situations like this. The general manager of a Michael Jordan or Kobe team would have never said this while they still have to be in the same workspace as a LeBron James. You wanna know why? Because they don't have the balls to do that. They know Kobe and Mike don't play them games. That's the utmost respect. Kobe and Mike don't kick it with everybody. They're not that accessible. They knew their popularity, they knew their fame, and they held themselves to a higher standard over everyone else in the league. They were stars at the utmost. LeBron is a star at the utmost, but he still kicks it like just one of the guys. Newsflash, nothing about you, LeBron James, is one of the guys. And furthermore, LeBron, you gotta stop being the better person in all these situations. You gotta stop taking a high road and being passive aggressive with your tweets. This is not the time for LeBron to be passive aggressive. That man disrespected you. That man pretty much belittled your name, your brain. He said it's miserable to play with you. This comes just a little less than a year after Kevin Durant, one of the best players in the world, one of your quote unquote friends said it's toxic to play with LeBron James. These people that are supposed to be close to you, Bronny, are planting seeds in other guys around the league's head that could very well impact your last few years in the NBA and impact the guys that want to play with you the last few years in the NBA. It's not time for LeBron to send out cryptic tweets and posts. You need to be direct and tell people what's on your mind and say, I don't know where the heck this coming from David Griffin. I don't want to hear nothing from Mav, Rich. I want to hear this from LeBron James. This man is a general manager that you went to war for. The day David Griffin officially left the Cleveland Cavaliers, LeBron tweeted out his love and respect for Griff. And the fact that this guy out of all people said, it's miserable to play with the LeBron James. It tells you all you need to know about the NBA and sports in general. It's a business at the end of the day. There's no such thing as friendships. You're only my friend when you can do for me in that moment. I thank you guys so much for the time. Love's put it on. Take it for granted. What do you think about David Griffin's comments on LeBron James? I'm out. I came from nothing, but I want everything God has for me. I interview celebrities. I talk sports. I still represent the culture. I got the kids. They who are now tuned in. Tuned in. Yo, we locked in right now, Mr. Telefair. Mr. Telefair. Mr. Telefair. Mr. Telefair. Shout out to Mr. Telefair. You're watching Mr. Telefair TV. Mr. Telefair TV? Here with the Triple B's. You can't do nothing but win.